inside of the cave connects to a fissure on the coastline. It seems large enough to contain another ocean. Sailors dread passing through this area. There are myriad tales of ships disappearing here. It's my turn. <laughs> in the sea calls out to you. You'd heard of Mermaid's legendary curiosity. She asks you many questions. From your conversation, you learn Gustav's ship was indeed attacked by pirates. That means the pirates likely have the orb. According to the Mermaid, the pirates scattered throughout the islands use this area as a hub for trade amongst themselves. Rumors claim that among their treasures is a magic lamp that can call forth a tune. <laughs> being duplicitous. It was all a ruse. the ship's owner is written here. Enemies! <laughs> 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 
damage. Oh, I can do that. <laughs> Walks right into the pirate's den. They're coming to attack you. Pirates have the magic land. Your situation will turn quite dire if you don't take it from them. The pirate has called the team. Quick, get the lamp out of the pirate's hands. You have summoned forth a genie. Don't let them take the lamp. Take the lamp! The magic lamp granted a wish and flew off. You find the orb stolen by the Prime Minister among the treasure the pirates left behind. <laughs> the orb you retrieved must be returned to the castle. Princess and Count can't contain their surprise. They'd already resigned themselves to the worst possible outcome. You've won a great deal of favor from the royal family. The princess smiles upon you, and Dean trusts you implicitly. The succession in Brolio has been dealt with. Once the king is buried and Parliament approves, Dean will succeed the king. Still, the future king wears a somber expression. He knows Hydland still faces many difficult challenges. The Shinyak Orc tribe is pushing in from the east, and more tribes are joining their ranks. They're an ever-present menace. Also, while Hydland is currently at peace, Bulga will surely strike if they sense an advantage. Worse still, the evil enchanters of the Mornian religion have cast their lot with the Bulgan threat. You are beginning to grasp why the last king of Hydland risked his life to find the dragon's crown. I need it, Dean mumbles quietly. After completing a large task, you return to a normal routine, fulfilling requests on behalf of the Adventurer's Guild. Whilst reviewing the outstanding requests at the guild, you spot one from the magician Lucane. It is about rune magic, but since you don't know too much about the subject, you're not sure what is requested. You tell the guildmaster Samuel that you'll accept this job, and pay Lucane a visit to inquire about the details. Hmm, you're back. You entered Lucane's tower to ask about his request. <laughs> 